I'm Dr. Paul Moffat. I run an online school where I teach courses about literature, especially monster courses and courses on medieval literature. I was teaching a course on King Arthur and I made a family tree or a couple of family trees to go along with that course. And it occurred to me that some people who aren't taking the course might be interested in these family trees too. So I decided to make them public for anybody that's what this is. So this is Lancelot's family tree. This family tree is not exhaustive. It's based on Mallory's Lamort D'Arthur. It's just a little snapshot of Lancelot's family. If you'd like a lot more time spent on King Arthur and on Lamort D'Arthur and on Thomas Mallory, there are three courses. You could sign up for any or all of them at clockworksacademy.com. The first is a fine romance focusing on romance that is both love stories and kissing and also the medieval sense of romance as an adventure story. There's Fight for Right, which is focused on war and tournaments and the nationalism and kingship and all that kind of thing. And there's the quest for the holy, which is focused all on the holy grail and piety and all that dimension of King Arthur stories. Go check them all out at clockworksacademy.com. For now, though, without further ado, here is Lancelot's family tree. Lancelot, of course, is the central person in his family tree. Lancelot's father is King Ban of Benwick, whose brother is King Bors of Gaul. Bors and Ban are allies of Arthur early in Arthur's career. King Ban and King Bors have a relative, Nestor. It is unclear what their relation is. He may be a brother. He may be a cousin. Uh, it, it's not clear, but he's a relative of Ban and Bors in some way. And Nestor has two sons, Blueberries and Blamor who are relatives of Lancelot and are also in Lancelot's family. Bors has two sons, Sir Lionel and Sir Bors, named after his father. Lionel is a good knight, but not outstanding. Bors is one of the three Grail Knights, so he's a central figure in the back half of Lamort D'Arthur. Bors has a son with Claire, the daughter of King Brandegor. Bors has sex exactly once in his life with Claire, and they have a child together. And Bors' son is Helen Leblanc. King Ban has two sons. The elder is Lancelot, who is a very good knight. Uh, Lancelot's brother is Hector de Maris. Hector de Maris is most notable for being Lancelot's brother. Lancelot, of course, has an ongoing affair with Guinevere. They don't have any children together. Although Lancelot is in love with Guinevere, Lancelot marries Elaine, Lady of Corbenac. Elaine, the Lady of Corbenac, is the daughter of King Pelles, the Fisher King or the Maimed King. Um, the stories of the Fisher King, the Maimed King, the Grail King are a little bit not entirely coherent in Mallory. But he is one of two kings in Mallory who are injured and their injury causes devastation for their whole land. The other one is Pelham, who is injured by Sir Balin. Pelles isn't the king who's injured by Sir Balin, but he is a similar story. And Pelles, I don't have it on the... Uh, family tree, but Pelles is descended from Joseph of Arimathea. So Pelles' daughter Elaine and Lancelot together have a son, Galahad, who is the perfect knight and who is an important knight in the Grail Quest. So here's the whole family tree. As I alluded to earlier, there are two other family tree videos here on my YouTube channel. One is about King Arthur and his family tree, and the other is about King Pellinor and his family tree. Go check those two videos out. Don't forget clockworksacademy.com where you can learn about and sign up for uh, eight week long in-depth courses on all kinds of neat stuff. I hope to see you in one of them. 
Goodbye for now.